Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a store locator page in WordPress. Uh, basically this page will look just like this and you'll actually have a place where you can enter in your uh, business address and the beautiful thing about this is that you can actually enter in multiple businesses and uh, once uh, your visitors come to this page they can basically enter in their location and actually get directions uh, to your place of business. So to start, simply go to your WordPress admin panel, then go to plugins and click on add new and simply search for WP store locator and click on search plugins and then simply install. Note that there are actually a couple of uh, store locator plugins that are out there but I actually chose this one because after testing the others I didn't really like them and this one as you can see has a pretty good uh, rating actually it's five stars so I think that's as good as it can get. So simply click on install now and then go to activate plugin then simply go to where it says store locator here and click on add store and now simply enter in your address after entering in your address simply click on preview location on map to see whether everything is working correctly next you can enter in extra details such as your phone number fax email address URL a description hours of operation a thumbnail etc to uh, keep this uh, tutorial short and simple I will just leave this part empty and click on add store after doing so you can check out your current stores here if you'd like to add additional stores simply repeat the same steps over again and then after you're finished go to settings and here if you'd like to uh, enter in an API key you can in some cases this is uh, beneficial because um, you know uh, Google actually keeps track of this and it monitors usage so if you get a lot of traffic uh, this is a good idea but the store locator will actually work without it because of some changes uh, with Google Maps but again if you'd like to uh, create an API key simply go to this link here and create one as for search settings you can change from kilometers to miles depending on where you're located in my case it's miles. As for max search results, uh, this is right here and uh, search radius is right here. So for example if you want to change the 25 you simply change the parentheses and add them to the number that you'd like to show up. For example if you want 50 you would enter in the parentheses as so and for search radius options it's the same exact uh, thing if you want it to be a hundred miles you simply move the parentheses to a hundred right here and then there are some other settings here which I won't really go over because they're pretty much self-explanatory but I'm actually going to go to a very important part which is start point and here you're going to want to enter in uh, a start point for visitors that they'll see when they first view your store locator map. Note that your store locator will attempt to locate the user if you have this checked off but the start point is there as a fallback or uh, before it can actually locate the user it needs to show something so the best thing to do is to actually enter in a location here so in this case I'm going to enter in the zip code and as you can see it pops up and you must uh, click on one of these uh, results because if not it, the system won't actually know the location unless you enter it in exactly as Google does which means that the country has to be at the end uh, the city the state and the zip code and depending on your country the format might be a little different and once you're happy with the settings here you can click on update settings if you'd like you can enter in a default country that will be used on the add store page this way you don't have to select the country each time you add a store and simply click on update settings after updating your settings you're going to need to add a short code to a page so we will need to create a page with this short code right here 
it will be left bracket W P S L right bracket and simply go to pages and click on add new and then simply enter in a title in my case it will be store locator and then simply select text here enter in the short code as so and click on publish and then if you'd like you can add your store locator page to a menu by simply going to appearance and then clicking on menus here and simply locate the active menu that you'd like to add the store locator to for example if you'd like to add it to one of your uh, menus such as menu 1 you simply locate the store locator page here which is here and then click on add to menu and then you save the menu and afterwards you'll have a page that looks like this and as you can see the details are right there and you can enter in a location to get directions like so so thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com